I just found the best image to video AI, and I'm not exaggerating. Unlike Kling AI, generation takes about seven to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, the people at Kling advise you to take a coffee break when generating on the free tier, and trust me, you're going to have more than a couple of those on the free tier. I also compared it to the latest image to video tool, Minimax, and wow, it completely outperformed Minimax. Not only did it generate faster with no watermarks, but the entire output quality was better than all other tools. Let me show you what I mean. Here's one generated from Minimax using no prompt. Now look at the one from this new AI tool. Not only that, take a look at this generation from Minimax. Then using the same prompt, here's the output from this AI tool. And this AI tool comes with free credits. Another thing, this might be the first uncensored image to video AI. At the very least, it allows way more uncensored images than Minimax or any other tool. This tool also has the ultimate face swapper. I'm not just talking about the face, but the hair, skin color, and beards. I mean, just take a look at this. Timestamps are available because I'll show you how to use this face swap at the end. Well, let's get started. To get the best results, you'll need essential prompts for this tool. And I've got a document on all the essential prompts. If you want it, just press the copy link button a few times. It really helps the video and comment the word prompt in the comment section and my AI should send it to you. For image to video to work well, we need to generate the perfect image for our influencers. Trust me, this is a step you don't want to miss, and I'll show you a super trick for this, making them perfect for AI influencers. This is essential if you want to use the video generated through this image on your influencer. You can't just use any random picture if you want the best video quality. So on a new tab, search for rubber band. Click on the link you see, it should also be in the description. Once it's loaded, this is the interface you'll see. You can log in or sign up like I did. You can also claim some free credits by completing certain tasks. They recently released some new features, but that's not our focus here. Let me show you how to create the best images for our videos. First over here, select text to image. Then go here and make sure Flux 1.1 Pro is selected. For the best results, set it to 16 by nine, though you can use any other aspect ratio. Then reduce the output to three images instead. After that, open up ChatGPT and paste in this prompt. Basically, we're generating a selfie picture, ensuring the point of view is from the phone, but the phone itself isn't visible. Selfie pictures are perfect for turning into videos. If you want this prompt, do the necessary. Then press enter and let ChatGPT do its magic. Once the AI is done, all you have to do is copy the prompt. Head back to rubber band and paste it in. Ideally, you'll want to change where it says girl to young woman. So that, that way you won't end up with anything weird or anime looking. When done, press enter to generate it. Let's see how it looks. It's done and I had to regenerate it twice to get what I wanted. I think I like this one so I can simply download it. Now for the video, it's very simple. Open a new tab and search for seller pick AI. Click on the link and as always, check the description for it. This tool is designed for fashion models, specifically AI fashion models, and it has way more features than Minimax. We'll mainly focus on their image to video model. Trust me when I say it's way better than Minimax. So let's get right into it and click on login or sign up. For now, I'll use my Gmail. Like the video if you're enjoying it, it helps a ton. Unlike Minimax, you don't need a Gmail account to use this tool. Once you're signed up, they'll give free credits to your account. But you can also pay for more credits, which I recommend if you want to use this commercially. And they are doing a mega discount now, so hurry up. Though either way, you still have the free credits. It's much cheaper than Minimax in the long run, as Minimax is far too pricey right now. So here, there are lots of tools like an all-in-one AI hub, but let's focus on image to video. Just click on image to video. These are some of my previous generations. Now, all you need to do is upload the image we just generated. Once you've uploaded, they do have a required resolution, but it adjusts, and with a little cropping, you can get the perfect video. For the first generation, we'll try with no prompts. Click generate and let's see how it does. It's done, and I want you to take a look at this masterpiece. When I tested this tool out, I was surprised no one was talking about it yet. Yes, there are a few deformations here and there because AI isn't perfect yet, but overall, it's still wonderful. There's a way to get even better results, so keep watching as we test this to the max. In my opinion, which you can visibly see, it's definitely better than Minimax. Unlike Minimax, there's no watermark even on the free plan. And this was with no prompts. 
Now, adding prompts for the best variation is pretty simple. You don't need an overly complicated prompt. Let's make this better by adding some cool camera movement. First, click Reset, drag the image back in, and add the prompt. To get these special camera prompts, simply press the copy link to help the video, then comment prompt, after which my AI would send you the document containing the prompts. Then click Generate, and let's see the results. It's done, and look at the wonderful job it's done. Because of the prompt, it now has some movement. You can see the level of consistency not only on the influencer, but also in the background. If you're still not convinced that this is better than Minimax, then you might be biased. Now, let's try fixing the hand issue. I'll show you how to fix the hands. Go back to rubber band and generate a normal picture. Maybe something along these lines. Now make sure everything is in order, then generate. Once you have the one you want, download it. One trick is to go back to seller pick and as usual, add the image. Then in the prompt section, just type small head movement. Click generate. One great feature is that seller pick videos don't take much time to generate. The maximum time I've seen is around 15 minutes. It's done, and oh my God, just look at this. I think this is perfect. I told you that you don't need to go all crazy in the prompt section. Just make sure magic prompt is turned on and add just add prompts like small camera movement, small hair movement, or small hand movement. And if you followed my instructions to copy the link and comment prompt, my AI will send you more prompts to get amazingly realistic results. Now let's try with a full body movement prompt. I tried again with the prompt to make her appear to be standing and here's the result. It's good so far, the only issue is a little hand morphing at the end. But overall, this is one of the best, as AI tends to struggle with hands. Still, this is definitely better than Minimax. But as I said, that's just my opinion. Though I think it's clear it's better, it's still my opinion. Now, let's try a different action prompt. I'll upload the same image and type in the action prompt. I made this one challenging to see how far this AI tool can go. That's why I'm adding more prompts than normal. Though for AI influencer videos, you don't really need complicated prompts. It's done, and here's the result. It seems it didn't quite capture the prompt, maybe it's my fault, but it still looks extremely realistic. I mean, come on, it got the bending of the neck, the mouth movement, and there's no morphing. Now, as for uncensored videos currently, both Seller Pick and Minimax don't allow explicit content. However, Seller Pick is far less strict than Minimax. So as long as you can generate a high quality picture with minimal clothing, it should be fine on Seller Pick. Before you go, there are other tools perfect for AI influencers. If you go over to Fashion Model, you can see there's a virtual try-on feature. Select it, and you can use these clothes. Choose the ones you like. It's done cooking, and look at what it's done. Perfect for virtual try-on. And there are a lot more tools you can try on here. One thing you can also do with this tool is ultimate face swap. Not only for the face, but the hair and the skin color. So go ahead and click on swap fashion model. Now you can choose to upload your own target face, which will be the one subject to face swapping, but I'll just use their preset. Once you've uploaded it, you'll need to bring in your influencer's face. You can choose from their library, or you might want to use a custom face. Click on add my own. Under reference, simply upload your influencer's picture. Then check all the suitable tags. When you're done, click on generate and let's see the results. Just take a look at this. It captured the hair, skin tone, and even the beard. This is perfect for AI influencers and in my opinion, the best face swapper out there. But that's it for this video. And as always, subscribe for more AI content like this.